All right, 2004 GMC Envoy uh, came in with code P0752, shift solenoid A stuck on. All right, now this is a mechanically generated code. It is not electrically generated. So I wanna get a little closer on a bench and explain to you what's going on and why that code is flagged by the computer. All right, so let me get a little closer. Okay. So first, the reason for this code to come up, this P0752 code, is because of a broken band and it's actually making a 1-3 shift. Okay, so here is the internal harness to the 4060E. All right, your shift solenoids go here, shift A and shift B. And let's just identify the solenoids real quick. So we have the two shift A and B, the EPC solenoid, this is the 3-2 control of the downshift solenoid. All right, here is your TCC PWM. And just a quick tip on this, you know, these snouts on this particular solenoid, this TCC PWM, they like to crack. All right, that you may not be able to see that. So if you ever get a code uh, of that 1870 or in the later ones, the 894, definitely change that solenoid because uh, that could be one of the reasons why that code shows up. And this is the regular uh, lockup solenoid. Okay, so we have uh, your shift solenoids hook up here. Okay, this sticks through the case and then the external harness gets plugged into here and the shift solenoids get powered up. I believe it's through pin E, it's a fused wire. Okay, so they get powered up through that and the, to turn the solenoids on and off, the computer supplies the ground. Okay, so when the solenoid is on, you're gonna have zero volts on the voltmeter. And when the solenoid is off, you're gonna have 12 volts on the voltmeter. And if the computer sees anything other than that, it's gonna flag an electrical code. Okay, but electrically, the solenoid was fine. So it sees a, a, an issue with the ratio uh, for second gear, so it, it flags the P0752, uh, blaming the solenoid. All right, so what's going on here is in first gear, shift solenoid A is on, okay? In second gear, shift solenoid A is off. In third gear, the solenoid is off, and in fourth gear, the solenoid is back on. But we're just gonna talk about the one, two shift here. All right, so it's, it's on in first, off in second. So we're in the car, we're driving, Okay, now the computer is gonna command, is gonna command the shift to second. Okay, so it takes the ground away and turns the solenoid off. And it can see that, and all that is fine. But what it's still seeing is a, gear, is a ratio for first gear. So we got a command for second gear, a command to shift into second gear, and we're still seeing a first gear ratio because of the broken band. Okay, so at that point, the computer flags the code, shifts solenoid A stuck on because it, think, it knows electrically it turned it off, but mechanically it thinks it's stuck on, so it's blaming the solenoid. Okay, now, um, it can be a solenoid problem. You know, if you have like a lot of debris in the pan, or if something's breaking up, clutch is flaking off, it very well could, could block up the solenoid, causing the problem. It could also be a shift valve problem. You know, the shift solenoid here, Okay, it has a little screen in here. So sure, it could uh, be a shift solenoid problem. Honestly, I don't really see that too much with this transmission. Uh, whenever you have um, this particular type of code being a, a, a solenoid problem. Some people like to try when they come in, you know, they take it to AutoZone or wherever they get the car scanned and they get this code. So they come in and say how much to put a shift solenoid in it. And then I gotta, you know, explain it to them exactly what, what's going on. But, Whenever you have a code that is something like shift solenoid A stuck on, shift solenoid B stuck off, um, you can also have shift solenoid A performance or stuck on. You know, these are all mechanically generated codes. So usually, you know, most of the time you got something going on inside the trans, you know, broken band, a slipping clutch, 
and it doesn't see the right ratio, so it's going to, you know, the computer's going to blame the solenoid and flag the code. So I just wanted to go through that with you uh, of why that P0, you know, what the computer sees to flag that P0752 code uh, for the shift solenoid stuck on. All right, so I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next one.